Uh, but Cabinet Secretary, uh, Professor Kobia, coming from the public service where you chaired, um, is it a board? I, I think it's a board, yes. A commission. And, uh, oh, sorry. A commission. A commission, yes. Yes. And then now got into cabinet, then towards the end, you also saw you're quite a bit active, you saw you um, joining political campaigns. What was that experience for you? How different is it from what you had been used to? Uh, thank you very much, Sam. Uh, my journey in uh, in public service has been very interesting, but very enriching. You remember, I was the first director general of Kenya School of Government. Then I moved to Public Service Commission, uh, which deals with the human resource function of the entire uh, public service, and now in the space of uh, Cabinet Secretary. Of course, I thank His Secretary, the President Uhuru Kenyatta for appointing me in uh, this position of a Cabinet Secretary, which I took as a position to serve and also kind of promote the well-being of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that is a space that uh, is for very few people, but at the same time, I'm always reminded that um, it is a position that we have been trusted by Kenyans uh, to support his excellent, the president deliver on his uh, plan, and I think he learned us very, very well, and I'm proud of the cabinet uh, that we are, we are just concluding, which is just on transition and assisting His Excellency President Ruto to kind of get his new cabinet and then proceed within delivering his, um, his plan. So I also wish to congratulate His Excellency the President um, William Ruto for the appointment he has just made of the cabinet secretary. And we hope they will build on the achievement of the Uhuru Kenyatta cabinet, which leaves a very clear infrastructure uh, system. They also use a very solid public service and they can just build on it. Mm -hmm. So what uh, I'm just saying that uh, much as um, we were quite uh, uh, in competitive uh, election period, the whole of last year, and uh, each of the two competitors for political uh, election to rid this country, it's also, everybody is trying to find what can you achieve in line with what Kenyans want in terms of improving their quality of life. Mm -hmm. So I think now politics is behind us, and you can see when the current Uhuru Kenyatta cabinet is working very closely with the deputy president and is also executive the president, just to make sure government services continue because it should actually be seamless. Mm -hmm. and that's why we are saying we are having cabinet meetings to make decisions that are implemented in the, in, in, in the ministries and the work continues. Hospitals did not close, schools were not closed. So it is very important that Kenyans understand government are perpetual. Okay. And there's no vacancy at any time. President ends when he hands on, on um, the docket or the, the government to the sworn president. Mm -hmm. The same with the cabinet secretaries. The time that appointees of His Excellency President Ruto are sworn in, I'll hand over the docket with a clear, detailed handing over notes so that they can be able to know this is where Uhuru Kenyatta cabinet and reached, and this is what they need to take forward. Okay. So it's, it's quite interesting to, to find yourself. But, but, but what, was that, what was your experience uh, being on the trail? I, I, I saw you, um, allow me to say this, on car rooftops uh, mm. at some mm -hmm. meetings. Yeah. How different was it for you? This is not something you had done for many years. Let me say, personally, I have not... Uh, been really involved in the campaign uh, or really for a political position for myself. And uh, let me also say that uh, this myth of saying there are, there are those who are politicians is true because they are seen campaigning and uh, asking for votes. Mm -hmm. And they are the technocrats who come to the space of uh, politi political space just because of the nature of the job and appointment that they have. So my experience is that uh, if, if, for example, when I, if, if a politician like Raira Odinga is coming to Meru who was looking for votes through a smear, or even President uh, Ruto is coming to Meru and I'm a senior public servant, I, I can be on the ground, but not necessarily campaign for a particular, because being a public servant, I did not necessarily need to campaign 
to a particular candidate, but I can, I can be able to point that we want a government that will be able to deliver on the promises of Kenyans. So that experience... So was that a personal choice to join the trail, or it was maybe you were persuaded in cabinet to do that? I, I, I'm not persuaded in cabinet to go out there and campaign, but for sure, if you, if you are loyal to your president, and you would go out, not necessarily to campaign, but to sell the programs, the policies mm -hmm. of the president. So there's a very thin line to, to when you're talking about dev development and when you're talking politics. And in any case, uh, the Harvard Business School or Kennedy School of Government, it says 90% of the minister's work is political. So, and what is politics? Politics is just the process of how decisions are made mm -hmm. regarding power and authority and how they're implemented on the ground and for whose interest. So all of us, we are politicians, okay. but it may, may differ our approaches to, to that politics. Okay. So I think it's important for us to not to lay so much emphasis on the politician and so much emphasis on the professional. In fact, you need both. If you are really going to serve in the space we are here as a cabinet secretary, you need to be political and, and working knowledge of politics because we are trying to satisfy the interest of each uh, uh, party or the, the, the stakeholders. Right. And also if you are professional, you also need part of the politics. And if you are political, you also need also some technical, no working know-how to mm -hmm. be able to deliver on your docket.